They put up a good fight. Wake up, man. Be easier just to put a bullet in them. Yeah, that is not the will of the Father. Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. My parents were the first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night, they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground. And I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. And when I didn't think I could take any more, did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared. I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. <laughs> opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking it. The best gift isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. <sighs> My God, that's courage. I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes, so you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly begin to atone. So who wants to go first? Which one? Yes. Yes! You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Now before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private after all. <laughs> Here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you and pour your worst fears inside. And as you choke, your sins will reveal themselves. And only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back.
want to thank John for purging me of my sins.
fill your body and consume your soul because in the end, you'll still be empty. And I'll be waiting right here. We both will. Be a long night. 